Man, Obito's just getting worse and worse. Anyways, it's your boy me. Welcome to the channel where anime manga means more. And this time we're reviewing Naruto chapter 629. The Juby starts laying mushroom clouds all over the battlefield just because he felt like it. Then Madara starts going hard on some low-level ninjas. But here comes Naruto to the rescue again. Naruto, he's exhausted now, but in the background, we see the tail beast and the sage of the six paths. What's that telling us? And Naruto's weak, so Madara, he gets ready to sodomize him. But then, you know, all the other ninjas come to his aid. Finally, we cut to Obito's and Kakashi's date. Then, like, that little pocket dimension or whatever, you know, that uh, 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 Obito uses constantly. Turns out, Rin offed herself. And so, in turn, Obito offed himself the same way. So, anyway, I want to say that this chapter was pretty much decent. I want to say decent up until the end. I think the end was just bad. One thing I want to know is what's up with the sage? Like, we've seen him in the background. We've seen him tell Beast. So, my guess is either he's going to show up. So, if he's going to show up, it's either one thing. He's going to show up. Um, something's going to happen with him. He's, and if he doesn't, like, show up, I think it's either it's, he's it's going to be Naruto. Either Naruto is reincarnation, whatever. And it's going to be, you know, basically Sage Path, Sage of Six Path, Naruto form. Or if he does show up, he's going to come from, I guess, from within inside the, uh, the uh, Ten Tails or something. I don't know. But I, he's going to show up at some point in time, I believe. Because that's why they wouldn't even show him. I'm looking at this animal over here. I am happy to say that they finally stood up for Naruto. Why? Because after all this stuff Naruto did, Naruto, he's been going hard since the first, you know, the first episode, right? Now, they was laughing at him first. They was, they was always hating on him. And then, now they want to stick up for him. They should have been did this because he did this a bunch of times. But it seems like the only time they, they want to help Naruto is if he either saves the world or saves the village or something like that. The last time they, they, they praised him was back when uh Pain had, when he had fought Pain. At that point, it should have been obvious. Okay, let's 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 uh, uh get his boys props. You know what I'm saying? And you know, let him get the uh, uh, uh Juni um uh, uh 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 title or whatever. You know, at that point in time, they seem like they they hating on Naruto because. Every time that he does something, it, it, they don't really care unless he saves the whole village. Only a few people actually, you know, pay attention to him. Now, at the end, Obito just got ridiculous. That's what I was mad about that. Why is he mad at Kakashi? Rin committed suicide. Now, actually, what happened was that story made sense. I think that cleared up a little bit. You know, why Kaka uh, Kakashi uh, did what he did. Now we find out he really didn't do it. That makes sense. I don't see why he's mad about it. I can see him sad that Ren died, but he had nothing to do with her getting killed. She did it herself. Then it also makes sense that Obito would be mad at the world because the way everything works, that made it so Ren got killed. So that makes sense. But what doesn't make sense is, why is Obito mad at Kakashi? For what reason? He, she killed herself. And what also doesn't make sense is he kills himself the same way for whatever, he, like what Kakashi said, for, for becoming what he became. But if that was the case, then he thinks he's doing something good. Because remember, she's she got killed because the, the, the ninja world is so evil and whatnot. Why didn't, you know, why didn't he, like... Why would he kill himself if he thought he was doing the right thing? And if he knew he was doing the wrong thing, what took him so long to realize that he'd been doing it for years? He should have been too far gone by now. And Naruto reminded him, all that crap, come on, this guy's confused. And if he really thought he was doing something good, why he'd kill himself? And he's got this power where he could bring people into this other dimension, which brings me to my final question. Can they live in that pocket dimension? Like, couldn't he, why, you know, if, if, it was that, if that was the case... Why didn't he just like, you know, bring some trees and some uh, um, dirt, whatever, from the real world and put it in that pocket dimension, start himself a little family inside that dimension, sort of like Coraline. 
He should have did something like that, like Coraline, and just had his own little thing going on. You know, if he wanted to live, you know, outside of the regular world, he could have did that himself. But what I'm trying to say is like this guy's mixed up. Like, cause he doesn't know what he wants. First, I'm mad at Kakashi. Now I'm mad at the world. He's got a reason to be mad at the world, but then he doesn't go about it the right way. The guy's just like either either he got a good reason and it's going about it in the wrong way, or he's going about something in the right way and got the, got a bad reason. This guy's just mixed up. I don't know what to say. But anyway, go ahead and leave your comment. Let me know what you think. Wait to be subscribed. Um, like I said, I think the. Up until the end was decent, but Obito, his thing was just crazy. It did bring some light to the uh, Kakashi and um, um, why he's mad at the world thing, though. But uh, that's it. Peace.